Hi guys, so this is the start of a video series where I'm going to go through all of the facilities while running four soundless tunes. And the goal is to show the strategy that you can use in each of the facilities so you're not having your mint last 20 minutes, you know, half an hour or anything like that. It's to show you how to do this soundlessly while still keeping your battles fast. So obviously a factory is really easy. The cogs are so low that you really don't need instruction how to do this quickly. Uh, I will say that it's a good place to learn some basic strategies. So here you'll see that I am making sure that my tunes are picking the cogs in front of them. The level five there, it needs two hoses. So I have the two tunes on the left hit the five, the one in the middle hit the one in the middle, one on the right hit the one on the right. Uh, that's a very good strategy to get down. That's how you pick gags quickly. If your team is waiting for someone else to pick so you know which cog you need to pick, it's going to take you longer. If you just know, hey, this cog is in front of me, I need to attack that cog in front of me, no one's going to pick the same cog and it's going to go much faster. So that's one of the very important strategies to know for doing soundless things and just things in general. Another is in the factory especially, you want to kill all the cogs in one round. Uh, that's what makes the, the factory go quickly. If you're taking two or three rounds to take out all three cogs, you're going to take so much longer than you would had you just picked sound and used sound in the factory. Um, another thing to know is you should really try and use the same gag track on all the tunes. That's why sound is so quick. You're only having the one cog death animation and one animation from the gag to kill all the cogs. So if one of my tunes picked throw, one of them picked squirt, and another picked trap and someone lured, it's going to take a lot longer to kill the three cogs than it would if I just picked a magnet and three trap doors. So that's another, that's another thing to know while doing this. So as you can see, I had my tunes pick the cogs in front of them. It actually takes me a while to do that while running four tunes because I have no idea where each of my tune is. So I have to pick the gag, look and see, oh, I'm on Edamar right now. I need to pick this cog. So that takes, it slows me down a bit when I'm running four. But if you are one of four tunes and there are four different people, it'll go much quicker. So because the factory is so easy, I'm actually just going to do a short. Uh, I think I take one more battle here, but I am going to speed it up for a second. There's no reason to have it going at one time speed while I'm just running across, especially since I tend to slow it down a bit by running all four tunes. So here, let's see, I forget what I did. What I do? Oh, I threw. Oh no, I trapped. Okay. No, oh, yeah, I threw. Okay, so I used throw, but I completely forgot that my throw was not organic, so I screwed up this round terribly. If you have organic throw, which I highly recommend as a soundless tune, you pick organic throw. Um, obviously, that five would have died, but because I didn't have organic throw, I have to take out these cogs in two rounds. And as you can see, it has slowed down the, the factory significantly by me doing that. So just make sure you know your gags, you know your your teammates' organics. It's always a good idea to ask at the beginning of the mint, hey, or whatever, hey, what's your organic? Most likely, you're going to find at least two of you in the facility have organic throw. Uh, it's actually kind of rare for Soundless Tunes to pick something other than organic throw. I don't see a problem, I guess, with having something else be organic, but having organic throw helps significantly with the strategies that you have here. Even so, your organics don't really start mattering until you're getting into the cash bot HQ, a law bot HQ, and especially the boss bot HQ. So on these cogs, I actually did one of my favorite strategies, and that is I use drop on all the tunes. Uh, now this is actually a very common soundless strategy. You usually use it on low level cogs. So on this where the biggest cog was a level 6, the accuracy was very high on the safe, so they all hit. I actually have yet to have a factory where any of my safes missed in this battle. Um, I'm not telling you it's a guarantee it'll always always hit, but it's a very high chance that it will hit. So so that battle went pretty quickly because of that. Um, it went just as quickly as sound would have gone. So now I'm just destroying all the goons. Um, I don't know why I actually kill all the goons. Sometimes I just skip, like I skipped a bit here. Sometimes I kill them all, it doesn't matter. Um, I guess it goes a little faster if you don't kill them. But my tunes got separated, so now is a good chance to show you another very common soundless strategy that actually becomes important in the mints and in the DA office. So because two of my tunes got on the elevator and two didn't, I went ahead and joined the battle and lured. Now this is something you'll see very commonly in the mint and in the 
DA office because it allows you to take out all four of the cogs in one round. You just have that one person lure while everyone else is still running up. You might use a tune up as a stun to improve accuracy. And now you have three or four lured cogs and four tunes ready to attack. So it speeds up the battle significantly. Uh, you'll also notice I'll link some videos in the descriptions of this series uh, showing just people doing these soundless mints and such. Uh, you'll see that even if all four tunes have already lured, people will lure and pass. So we'll have a clean slate, four cogs with uh, fully lured. What that does is it takes away the death animation and it speeds it up a bit by not having us have death animations in two different rounds. Uh, so that takes down on the time significantly there. So now I'm just going to trap. Um, like I said, the factory is really easy. As long as all of the tunes are picking the same gag track, um, not counting lure, you can lure on one of the tunes and that's fine. Uh, it's going to go pretty quickly because you have the animations, the cog death animations all in one round, um, all at the same time. So it's not going to, you're not going to notice a difference in the speed. Uh, and in fact, it you don't have to stop in the lava room to get the elephant trunks like you do when you're doing sound runs because none of your tunes need any of the stuff in the lava room. Unless you're poor and you need the jelly beans, you can skip that room entirely and there you save a minute or two. But yeah, it's pretty simple. And here I'm going to do my favorite strategy again and I'm going to use all drop. Uh, my tunes didn't have max drop yet when I recorded this video, but they were high enough to kill the nine, so I went ahead and did it anyway. Um, but I think one of them missed. Oh no, none of them missed, so this one worked pretty well. Usually in this battle for me, one of the drops misses. And when that happens, you know, sound misses occasionally, so it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. It's annoying when it happens. But then you just, you know, pick pick another gag to kill it. I usually recommend picking different gag tracks, so if someone throws a cake, have someone else use a storm cloud, someone else use a piano. That way if one of the gags misses, you're not having to pick another round. Just whoever was next in line will throw their gag. So there you have it. That's how you do a soundless factory. It's not very hard. Uh, subscribe to this channel. I'll be uploading more videos to it with how to do an all soundless mint, DA office, and hopefully back nine if I can get my tunes up big enough to do that uh, before Christmas break. So thanks for watching. I hope you have fun on your soundless tune.